Right, so I'm ready to do my first thread in. I've got some numbing cream just on there and a bit of cling film just to stop it kind of evaporating a bit. The numbing creams I do have are Neocane and Wells Cane Plus. The, this one was from Glam Cosm. This was Ace Cosm. This is the one I've got on, which is best. I don't know. I need to try it. Afterwards, I am going to put a little bit of the Neocane like on my arm or something and then like stab it just to see. Actually, no, I'll, well, I'll do both. I'll do the, both those creams on a bit on my arm, leave it for half an hour, stab both and see if one is better. Who knows? So I've got like um, some paper towels down, get the stuff I'm going to use out, like swabs and alcoholic wipes, the two needles. These are the threads I went with. They're both from Glamcosm and they're both 30 gauge, but one's 18 millimetres and one's 25. Weirdly, actually, I noticed when I took them out of the packet, so there's 20 in a packet, it was about $20, I think, which is like, you know, 18 pounds or something. But, and you get 20, and they just come in two of these packs. But as far as I can tell, there's no identifiable things on here to let me know what it is. So, what I did, yeah, so look, that's the 25 and those are 18s. So yeah, I mean, same colour and everything. I mean, obviously one's a bit smaller. So all I did was on both of the packets, I wrote like 18 on the back, 25 on the back. So at least in the future, I don't get stressed out in case I'm using the wrong ones or mixed up or anything. So like both my 18s have 18 on the back. So at least I'll know. Because, yeah, no, I mean, you can tell that other one's bigger, but still it's one less stress in my life because I do get confused. <laughs> so I've got like alcohol, witch hazel, alcoholic wipes, my swabs for, and some cotton pads for the inevitable amount of blood. Got some rubber gloves, got my specs, because I need reading glasses because I'm very old. Some clippers that are soaked in alcohol. I mean, I'm gonna spray it all in a wee minute as well in case I need to clip off any threads or anything. So yeah, let's... What should we do first? Let's get the... Alexa, how long's left on the timer? You have five minutes and 30 seconds left on your 40 minute timer. Alexa, cancel the timer. 40 minute timer cancelled on the Thank you, Alexa. So yeah, because I did half an hour originally, but I added 10 minutes on our timer because of what to do a wee bit at the top because I thought maybe I hadn't went down enough. So we'll see. Oh. Yeah, so let's just, let's get cooking and fresh broken. So let's just do a wee bit of witch hazel on a swabby thing. Oh, wow. My head actually does feel numb. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting from numbing cream. But I don't know why I'm looking at the camera. Should be looking, well, my phone should be looking in the mirror. It's a bit easier. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah, my skin feels numb, which is good, yeah. Check me to in just because I'm nervous. So, just a wee cotton swab just to try and get the, see if there's any last bits. An annoying tiny little alcohol wipe. Well, is it tiny? Oh, that feels so weird. But remember as well, don't just do the little bit because if I'm going to be lean on on here with my fingers to stab, then I'm going to need it all clean. Right, so there's some alcohol. Let's get some alcohol spray. So we do those a little bit. Let's get some gloves on. Right. 
and do not try this at home folks just go to a qualified professional who can do it for you don't be me and then let's just spray alcohol on my hands let's rub alcohol on the bottle because obviously I'm going to be touching that as well because you want everything to be clean so if you're going to be wearing your glasses spray your glasses in alcohol no point in getting all clean and then touching products and glasses and hair and stuff so oh my lord I so don't want to do this right right oh my lord So, and the needle is shaped, if you imagine like a ramp, so the bottom is flat and then the top goes like this, and this is what they call the bevel, they kind of, this is the open part of the needle, so if the needle is shaped like that and then it stabs in, so have that bevel on top, so like if I was stabbing that bit, the bevel would be there, because that bit is the sharpest bit. So you want this to be kind of touching the skin because it'll go in better and apparently with the threads as well go in a little bit and then straighten out don't kind of go down to the skull just go in a little bit apparently you might feel it pop when it kind of gets through the skin bevel it well straighten it out and then go down you don't need to go super deep or anything so i'm actually quite stressed now right so and you can see there so don't pull the plug down yet because otherwise the thread might warp so keep it there so at least it's tight and then as you push it into the skin at least the loose thread underneath is being kept taut with that and then you just hold on to the plug and you can pull it out so Oh, from my beady little eyes, can I see the bevel? Yeah, actually, because my eye, because I need reading glasses, it's still kind of blurry. But as I spin it, it suddenly becomes really shiny. And then I think that's the bit. Yeah, yeah. So the sh when it becomes really shiny, I know the bevel's pointing towards me. So, oh, my sweet Jehovah. Oh, and you can do the pinch technique. So at least you're getting it up off the skull and because the veins and stuff are quite strong not that there are really many there but still at least if you do that then the skin and the flesh and the fat will pop up but the veins will kind of stay a bit lying down and then just go down and then flat so right, let's go right so that's the bevel right so it look, like if you go here so I've got a big crack there and then a wee sort of crack there. So I'm going to do the weird crack. Yes, yeah, so I'll go here. Dun, dun, dun. go out there You're not talking now, am I? Your first one's always the hardest, as they say. So make sure it goes right in as well. Whew! Stabbed. Check me. Stabbed. And actually it was quite weird because I didn't actually, I didn't feel the pop 
like they said it would, but I didn't really feel anything. And it felt almost as if it was going to hurt, like if I just kept pushing, and that was the big delay at the beginning, is because it felt weird and I thought maybe I was hitting something and I was trying to kind of move it around a little bit. But actually, if I just kept going, it wasn't actually pain, it was just weirdness and it kind of just slid in. So yeah, there was lots of stress in the beginning, but he went in. So I might actually just leave that one. Or shall I take it out straight away? And I didn't even get the crack, I totally missed. Because let's see, there's my crack there, and there's the thing over there. So I totally missed it. That's fine. Live and learn, or and shine. And even though it'd be handy to kind of keep them in so I'm not doubling up, but because I'm still quite nervous and I'm going to be doing the pinch thing, I'm going to take this out. Well, take the needle out. The, sorry, I keep staring at the screen and not the eye saying That's really, I hate it when people do that. So I'm going to pull it out so at least then I've just got my face and I'm not worrying about bumping into something else. So let's just make sure she's all the way in. Hold on to the wee plug. Give it a twist and then just gently pull it out. Oh, where's my bin? See, I've got my bin. And then just plonk in my sharps bin. And my little plug. Yeah, no threads, see? Nothing hanging out. Right, so I need to keep going because I don't I don't even because I should have read the instructions properly on the numbing cream, so I don't actually know how long you're meant to officially leave it on and how long it actually lasts for. So bevel. Oh there it is. So Maybe I should try, oh actually no, going down is really awful. So there's the bevel. Dude, seriously, let's just double check. Ah, I can see. Plus it's even quite still hard to see. Okay, so it's there. So I want to go quite in there. And it doesn't actually hurt, but it's just super weird. It feels weird. Plus, you're kind of nervous because you're like stabbing yourself. Right, so where is this? Okay, so this looks like it's kind of down here. So let's pull her out. So give it a twist while I'm holding the plug. And no him threads. And that one actually, that one's bleeding, and that one did feel a bit weirder. So probably hit something. But then I mean there's blood in the flesh, so it doesn't necessarily mean I hit a vein or something, and just you know, bleeding. So let's do the bigger crack. Go 
But the paper was just hard to see. Right. Dun, dun, dun. So we want it there. So let's get stabbing here. Ugh. That one went in super easy, I'd say. Well, I shouldn't say things like that because I'll just be tempting fate. So, that's that one in. Let's hold on to the plug, give it a little twist. no threads. So I've done three so far of the 25s but that's because the the two big cracks were quite big. Well obviously the big cracks were big. Oh my god. What could we do with a vodka? Can you eat alcoholic wipes? <laughs> Just like chew it like a wee chewing gum. Right so the threads seem to work better when they're supported by each other. So doing like a cross hatch is always quite good, I think. So I've done the three big ones down. I might do some... Because I'm just trying to judge as well, like what future procedures I might have. And I think things like lips and stuff, I'm probably going to want more of the little ones. So I might try my best to use as many as the larger ones as I can. Because even if I do do a procedure around my eyes or above here the chances are i might use the smaller ones so i think the smaller ones are going to want more of so i might continue with the 25s so let's have a wee look shall we yeah because i mean the 25s still weren't massive eh? so let's well i'm actually shaking a wee bit <laughs> right let's get my specs on because that's always the loads of kerfuffle right and there he is Right, so the, there's not much kind of crackage going on above here. It's all kind of down here quite a lot. So I am think potentially going to chuck in a wee one lower down. But I'll just do this, uh, make a monobrow of them. So it's kind of eyebrow to eyebrow. So I tilted it to get it in and then now I'm just going to flatten it out a little bit. And when I'm pinching, I'm trying not to pinch too close or too hard because if you think if you pinch your skin, you're making soft flesh into hard flesh. So I still want it to remain squidgy. So that he goes in easy. And whenever I watch people doing threading, it totally stresses me out when they don't put it in all the way. They just kind of put it in a bit and then they just pull it out without holding onto the plug. Even I watch them, like real people do it, like beauty therapists, and they weren't holding onto the plug. So potentially it's just once you get used to it, but they were just whacking it in and then pulling it out. But I just don't want to any threads to pop out just because I don't want to have to keep doing the same bit over and over again. It's difficult enough as it is. So that one, halfway through, felt a bit weird and a bit, felt as if it was a bit difficult. But then it seemed to kind of push through 
probably stabbing through a muscle, but once it managed to stab through, it was kind of fine. So we've got our three, I've got one cross hatch. I will crack open the pack of 18s because I really do want to support that on the bottom. Because how big is the 18? Oh, look. It's very small. Yeah, so that one I just kind of on the top of the brow, you know, the eyebrow gap bit. This one I'll do right on the bottom. So eyebrow to eyebrow. A bit harder to pinch. Yeah, because it looks like it went too deep here. So I need to be very careful. Yeah, no. If in doubt, pull it out. That's unacceptable. When I was trying to do it, I tried to do it kind of brow to brow, but by accident I kind of went a bit into the orbital bone and then it might have been completely fine just throw that one away but i mean you've got a very important ocular muscle there and I'd, obviously down there's nowhere near it but i, I want, don't want to be inside the ocular bone at all only on top of the skull yeah that one really hurts actually i feel like but that's because i kind of so I've gotten another 18. And make sure I'm staying well outside of the eye. How you doing? Right, let's get this fucker out. So holding on to the thing, little twist. Yeah, nothing. <sighs> Dude, that one was awful. Well, that last one was completely fine, but that one before it. But it's because obviously I didn't kind of numb there and I was in there. You shouldn't be in there. So, and if you start feeling weird or pain or it's awkward, pull it out. I mean, don't don't try to force anything in anywhere. If you start feeling any kind of oddness, get it out. Oh, I really need a coffee and a vape now and a vodka. Right, so I've got three coming down. One at the top of the eyebrow, one at the bottom of the eyebrow, and I might just put in sort of higher up. I'll do <clears throat> a 
Let's just do that. 25, 25, yes. Specs. Got it, and you get this. Oh, it's because the, like, the thread dangles off the bottom, so it throws your eye. So you've got kind of the bottom of the needle, but the thread's hanging off the bottom of the needle, so it kind of throws you. So I'm going to stab her eyes. You know, stab her eyes down to me. It does not seem to want to stab. Right, so that one's in, kind of down there a wee bit. Hold on to the plug tight. Give it a wee spin. That one was weird. I don't know if it's because I was going diagonal. And maybe depending on like, the position of the muscles are there or something, maybe everything's all kind of horizontal. So, what to do, what to do? See, that's the bad thing about pulling them all out, but it's because it's the first time, Keeping them all dangling out of my face while I'm trying to get a position to hold it and it's team too much. Team too much. Yeah. Let's see, I don't care. Where's my thing? Mm -hmm. <sighs> just need a second. Mm -hmm. So I just sprayed alcohol. I love my baby thing. You can't vape on YouTube, can you? Yeah, of course you must be on. I mean just pretend you don't. Don't vape. Don't smoke. It's bad. I just need a second. Right. So, I initially planned on following the awesome Skin Deep Nikki. Um, her video because um, she kind of did well she, I think she did 38 so actually took uh, two larger ones down and then she kind of fanned it but as well you can't copy someone else's video exactly because her cracks are going to be a different place so you know she kind of want to focus on it or maybe she'd done that I can't remember if that was her first time actually I can't remember I don't know why I can't remember because I've watched the video about a million times but I would have preferred to keep them in to do it but if I do threads again I mean, it's just really stressful, dude. So, but anyway, so I've got the three pointing down, the two in the crack, the one that I missed the crack, the top one, the bottom one, one squinty one, and I'll do another squinty one here. I don't know why these squinty ones upset me. I'd kind of prefer to make it horizontal and vertical, but that's just probably an OCD mental thing. Diagonals. Aren't for kids. So I so even though I kinda of want to do one there, I've got one on the other side going across, so I shan't. I shall stop here and then just go down. Oops. 
Why can't I stab my head? Oh, well, I'm bleeding, so I must obviously stab a little bit. Yeah, not see, because that one's actually bleeding. I couldn't quite get it in, giggity, and now it's bleeding, so I shan't force it in there, because maybe there's just something there. Yeah, that's so totally gross. This one doesn't like it either. Oh, fuck. Yeah, and as I said, if it doesn't want to go in, don't force it in. So that's why I just pulled that one out. <laughs> oh, I was doing so well. There was like hardly any blood. <sighs> now I just need to get some homeostasis. Is it homeostasis? Where you kind of let the blood clot. Not homeostasis, that doesn't. That's, no. It's going to annoy me, but I can't remember. But anyway, you need to just let, let it clot. I think that might be me. I might not do any more on my Clabella. I've done some. Yep. So let's try and remember what we did. Oh yeah, so we, yeah, so it's a bit wonky to be fair. So did my one in each crack. One beside the crack that I missed, one top eyebrow, one bottom eyebrow, one squint down. So it's not a very good part and it all just seems a bit winky wonky. But I think I'd rather just stop because I could do it again in like three to six months or whatever because I don't want, I don't really know what the results are on me. So I'd rather, because you know that sometimes you see those like, old guys who live in Florida and they've got that middle bit kind of totally puffs up it kind of looks like really fake I think it's probably be filler though and I kind of don't want that so I'd rather do a little bit wait a while and do a little bit more rather than do too much now and then in a month's time I see the results and really don't like it and just assume that's what threading is going to do for me in that spot when it's not it's just I chucked in too many threads so I uh, want to go make a coffee, chillax, I've done my first thread stabbing and actually that was quite good in that that, one, that last one, loads of blood just came out of it but it stopped very quickly so that was also good. So yep that's me for now, I'll go disinfect everything again and then I'm going to come back, clean everything up, spray things, everything again and do the boom threads because these were the second most important things the lips not so important I mean they are important in the sense that they do are quite rubbish but I, I need this my nasal labial folds are rubbish rubbisher so one of them so we're gonna go chillax and then let my mates know that I'm not dead yet don't touch wood. But yeah, cool. So yeah, that was me doing my Glabella. So bye.